Welcome back to Squawk Box this morning. I want to get straight to our next big guest. He's out with a new book today on artificial intelligence and how it will permanently change people's relationship with reality. It's an especially pertinent conversation given the recent one about Facebook's use of AI and both its intended and unintended consequences. Joining us right now, first on CNBC, is former Google executive chairman and CEO Eric Schmidt. He's, of course, the co-founder of Schmidt Futures and co-author of The Age of AI and Our Human Future. Good morning to you, Eric. Congratulations on the book. Um, I have to admit I'm confused because I've read the book and I can't tell in the end. I know you're you're an optimist. I know you're an optimist, but I can't tell if you really love this technology and think it's going to change our world for the better or if there's an underlying anxiety throughout the book about what's really happening here. Well, of course, the truth is both. And um, if you take a look at what AI is doing, the transformation in science, biology, sociology, the way we deal with information, it's extraordinary. But what happened 20 years ago is when I was working on this, we did not understand the implications in the technology industry of what this would do to society. And so the book is about what AI will do to society, most of which is good, but some of which is very worrisome. So if you could go, actually, let me ask it this way then. If you could go back in time 20 years ago, and now we're talking really about social media and, and, and the way the internet exists today. What do you think you would have done differently? Well, the key thing that we now understand is that AI systems optimize against a specific objective function. Literally, they go for whatever you train them at for, if you will. And if you look at what's going on, for example, with social media, they're trying to maximize revenue. The best way to have revenue is to have more engagement, that is more usage more usage you get with more outrage, therefore you get more outrage. And the AI that we foresee will be much, much more powerful than what we're seeing right now. And so we're gonna have a lot of this. We're gonna have a lot of people being manipulated in one way or the other, and that's not good. Um, and, and therefore, we, we, how do we prevent that? Well, it starts with, with trying to figure out what the real problem is. And the real problem is that these systems are going to spend more and more time affecting the way our world looks to us. Um, these systems are dynamic. They cannot explain themselves. They are emergent in the sense that there's behaviors we don't expect, and they are still learning. And the book is about what happens when humans interact with that kind of intelligence. What we say in the book is that this new generation of AI over the next decade or two is going to be an epical change in human experience because we've never had another intelligence that's human-like, that's not human. We'll be working with it, but we'll also get mad at it. We'll be worried about it. It will change things. It will change the way a child grows up. It will change the way we do um, a military strategy. It's how do we do defenses? How do we do war at the speed of milliseconds? These sorts of questions no one's asking. We hope we've written the first book that will start a whole generation of people thinking about how to solve these problems.